Hey guys, my name is Justin and in this video I'm going to be sharing my top 5 favorite Instagram themes that I've seen and some popular ones for you to get some ideas for your own feed or account. So if you're not sure what an Instagram theme is, it's pretty much just posting with a consistent color scheme or filter or posting pattern in mind so that when you look at your feed in the grid or overall, you have a consistent theme of colors and vibe to your account. So the first theme that I picked out for this list is what most people call the white theme. So if you're a girl who likes cactus plants, lettering quotes, and you maybe even own a pair of these, then you've probably seen this theme or maybe want to use this theme. I've noticed it's really popular with girls and it's kind of like a trendy, minimal, high key look. So a lot of whites, a lot of contrast, a lot of brightness. If you search white Instagram theme on YouTube, you'll probably find a lot of tutorials of people showing what apps they use to edit their photos. I teach Photoshop on my channel, so I really just edit all my photos in Photoshop or Instagram itself with the brightness and whatnot. But I've seen a lot of people use VSCO Cam and Snapseed and a few other apps that I'll list down below. And I think I saw a couple tutorials on it. So I'll link you guys to a good tutorial if you're interested on how to get this theme because you could probably take it from one of them better than me. So the next theme that I like on some accounts is just a simple black and white theme. If you stay consistent with the same black and white filter, so whether it's a bright black and white or a dark black and white, you can create an overall vibe and mood to your page that makes it more like a newspaper or media account rather than just a bunch of random photos. You gotta stay consistent with it and it can be limiting for you to post everything in black and white, but on the plus side, whenever you post, people know it's you and people see that you have that consistent theme. So that's the black and white theme. Next up is a collage theme. Now there's versions of this where they just take the whole grid and they turn it into like a banner picture, but I feel like that is kind of gotten old and it's not really interesting anymore now that a lot of people have done it. It was probably cool for the first person that did it, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the way the app works. However, if you use that same mentality of looking at the feed like an overall picture and combine it with some planning and thought in Photoshop or another app, you can create a cool collage that's not aligned by the borders of Instagram. So like DJ Mustard uses on his account, it's just a continuous scrolling collage. And the cool parts about this is it still looks interesting whether you're just zoomed in on one photo or whether you're looking at the account overall as a whole. But you might have to know a little bit about Photoshop and planning to plan your feed like this or work with a graphic designer to plan your theme like this. So the next theme that I've seen and it's more of a posting pattern that you could even combine with the other themes is posting in triplets. So that means every time you post you just post a whole row of photos and over time this creates a cool consistent look to your photos. Now, like I said, you can combine this posting method with any of the other themes. So for example, ASAP Rocky, it's one of the first accounts that I remember starting to do a collage theme, but now he posts in triplets as well as it being kind of cool collage stuff. So just like DJ Mustard, he kind of combines an overall planning, but he posts these collages in triplets so they still have a cool row feel to them. Now there are pros and cons to this as well, of course it looks really cool, but whenever you're posting in triplets, you can't post new photos until you have three photos to post, or you always gotta post three photos at a time or else the feed will shift and mess up your triplet. Another cool way you can use posting patterns is instead of doing like a triplet, you could do an alternative posting pattern. So you could do something like one dark photo, one light photo, one dark photo, one light photo, or you could do like one type, one quote, and then one picture, and one quote and one picture. So over time, it creates kind of like a crisscrossing diamond feed. Another cool theme I've seen that uses back and forth alternate posting pattern is one that uses a vertical picture and then a horizontal picture. So a vertical and horizontal, and overall the grid looks like it's kind of pieced together in a cool puzzle shape. Also, you notice this account is using a white border on every picture, and this is a cool but simple theme that you can do is just add a white border on every picture. You can do it right inside of Instagram. Just 
Just pick any of the filters and turn on the border and then you can just turn the effect strength all the way down. And once you have a border on all of your pictures, you're left with a kind of cool spaced out look in your overall feed. And if you keep consistent with it, people will always know that you post the picture with that border. So those are just five general themes and a bunch of examples of them. Hopefully you guys got some cool ideas if you're planning on doing an interesting theme for a photo of your own. Remember, there's a ton of cool apps in the App Store that lets you edit pictures right on your phone. Instagram's really great, right built within. It has a lot of cool tools. And if you're good with Photoshop or learning Photoshop, which I teach a lot of on my channel, then you could get even more creative and use Photoshop to plan out a grid of your own. If you guys want to check out what type of pictures I post on Instagram, you can follow me at Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and leave a comment on which theme you like the best or what you use on your own Instagram or just what you thought. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.